just came to accept that as the truth, that Renee was never gonna be married. Mom, are you ready for this? I met this guy on Match.com. You're not gonna believe this. She should not go on a date with him because I thought he could not be real. He said he was gonna do it, I couldn't believe it. And I said, you wanna go down to Mexico? Unbelievable, you know? This gotta be serious. <laughs> oh my god! We can edit this in post. Peace and carrots, peace and carrots, peace and carrots. Michael and Renee have chosen to exchange their vows beside the sea because, like the wonders of nature, their love for one another can never be contained within four walls. Renee is just the most amazing woman I know. There's nobody who could be a partner in life with you because it would just take somebody so extraordinary. Mike and Renee have chosen to write their own vows. Um, the, the words they're about to speak are sourced from love. Uh, for those of you who have not experienced what true love is, it's very difficult to describe and to, to, to express what true love actually is. It's really not meant to be expressed in words, but they're gonna try their best. <laughs> and they'll do fine. I remember telling you on a special road trip from Seattle to LA that since you were moving to New Zealand, I didn't think I was ever gonna see you again. I'm the lucky guy that gets to be with you and be on the receiving end of that kind of love. And that's something everyone should have. And I vow to remain by your side as we grow old, embarrassing our children with our dancing. And meowing together at the song on the radio. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me with this great honor of being efficient for, your, for the most important day in your life. So by the authority given to me as officiant, it brings me great pleasure to pronounce you as better wife. Can you make it? Yeah. <laughs> Just freaking out in my head when I saw you coming down the aisle. Really? That's my first time I ever saw you. I fell in love when you entered the room. And when the light hit your face, yeah. oh we God, were just kids, but I knew right away. It was really hot. I will be with you until I start breathing. And we wish the very best. And I gotta tell you, after meeting your family and all your friends, you really have <laughs> some great people. Uh, we're looking forward to maybe some grandchildren. <laughs> You know, I think it's just Renee. <laughs> I'd be watching her, and and uh, she'd be singing a song. You figure she's like singing just to you, and uh, you know she makes everybody feel special. She's got a infectious smile and a nice word for everybody, and always being so considerate. And I, you know, and I, that's why Mike. I know that's why Mike fell in love with her and proposed marriage to her. And, you know, I was looking out today at the at all the people. And I know all the women were crying. I even saw some of the guys crying today. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah.
Because <laughs> it was so dirty. <laughs> Your daughter. Oh no. Yeah, show it just a tiny bit. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, get it. And Mike, you know, what a great guy. I mean, I'm so happy that you met Mike and your family, you know, you gotta be with your family, you know, and, and I, this is a great guy. I mean, it's, this is a guy, this is a guy that I, I, I really would love to be in the family. Renee and I just wanted to extend um, a sincere thank you to the uh, people at uh, Rancho Pescadero, all the workers. Yeah. I'd like to thank our wedding planner, Sandra. Oh my God, we've been working on this thing for like a year, and she's been amazing. Carla, thank you so much. Victor at the front desk, we we thank you. Danny, manager of the bar. I mean Renee, uh, Edgar. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Noel. Sergio. Armando. Ismael. No, I mean, now you're just saying Spanish names. <laughs> Gavin. <laughs> Gavin's brother. <laughs> um, and we also wanted to thank, thank our families, of course. The speeches last night were just uh, amazing. Congratulations, and the best for the future.
Yeah.